Last time on Up Close and Personal. Oh, <laughs> Tom. Dang it. Um, yeah. He was waiting for us. Tuck, let's go deal with that. You can run to there, please. There he is, little punk. Toss to there. Wow. <laughs> okay, so we had Tom Jang run in there and get shot. He's going to be wounded. But his flashbangs that were primed went off. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. This is Ivan Dogovich, up close and personal with Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. In this 34th episode, we have just finished taking down a, loud, a large scout in South America, and Marbazir is on his way back. We have a crew ready to go here in UFOpedia in South Africa. Hopefully we'll get some action on this side of the globe. It's kind of funny, there's been a ton of activity in North America this last month um with terror missions and some scouts and stuff and we've had most of the activity over there and not much in the other regions yeah europe has just got nothing um africa has been pretty quiet too total overall has been pretty busy though where else are they busy um anything in siberia no interesting just taking a quick look here through the the things okay and their overall score this month is 320 and XCOM's overall score so far is 640 which isn't bad almost all of that in North America and a ton of that from our very successful terror mission but yeah um, I did have a couple things I wanted to mention as Marbazir is returning um, so I was commenting on Wolfie's um, Bolt's Cross and her award and that she has three gold pins on it which is the top level and this is the award you get for capturing a leader or a commander alive and that's a, a very important key in the game you need to capture them for um, final um, well, final text that you need um, and it's not necessarily easy but there is a leader in a terror mission and so if you are lucky or you're very skilled um, you can capture them that's the highest level of awards there is there's usually 10 levels of awards and that's the highest level and I was complaining that that was a bug well guess what guys it's a feature not a bug yep that's right so because this award is so amazing if you will it has really only one level but that level is maxed so if you get it you automatically get it at the highest level so that's what's going on there so she has 10 it's it's just to show that it is super special and that's why wolfie's award has all of the pins in it so anyway i did want to point that out and i was complaining about it but i wanted to mention it's a feature not a bug uh, i'll also mention which is really cool. Um, I finished up last week, and while we were watching a lot of these uh, episodes, I finally completed the U the Commendations UFOpedia mod, which is where these uh, medals are in the UFOpedia. Starting with the Military Cross, all of the awards are mentioned uh, or have a entry here in the ufopedia with custom graphics etc and i've been featuring those at the end of the episodes and i will continue to do so and this will be a feature of uh my playthrough it is a custom mod uh it does complement shoes mod which is called stat soldier diaries of which tracks all of that information kills etc and then cut his additional mod which is part of that package called commendations which is where the individual ribbons are um, where Wolfie had the the bolts crossed with three stars and um, so I've completed all the custom graphics and we'll have another one at the end of this episode but it's been exciting and uh, I just want to mention that okay so all right that is good 
Let's get this going here. I do want to check out what's going on here. It's been a little bit since I've played, but I'm looking forward to playing some this morning, maybe recording a couple episodes. Uh, flashbangs, making flashbangs, that's good. Uh, always need flashbangs. We've made 10 of 21, that's good. Motion scanners are just there to be built for money. Over here at our main manufacturing base, yeah. This is where we got so many um, aliens scouting around, I'm afraid they're gonna get attacked. We are manufacturing motion scanners. Hmm. Do we really need anything else at this point? Probably not, probably not. Okay, research. We are researching a sectoid leader. Awesome, and it's excellent progress. Good, so we should get that done pretty quick. And speaking of pretty quick, I think we have... I'm pretty sure we do have... Um, coming here into Open XCOM, some soldiers. Right, we got three more soldiers. Mudmasher is just a popular name. I think that would be Mudmasher number three. Um, and we've got Sissy and Lady. Okay, so they'll come in and we do have three more, count them, three more um, people to recruit who are new to the, 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 new to the episode. I was going to say new to the stream. I don't know why. I'm not a streamer. <laughs> I don't ever actually stream on Twitch, but I do watch some streamers. Um, and that was good. God, that's another topic to mention. I will mention that. But I don't want to get totally sidetracked. So, okay, that is going good. We've got all of that stuff in gear. We got a ton of rookies here in Open XCOM. So if we are in the XCOM subreddit, so if we do end up with a base infiltration mission, we're gonna have a ton of fun trying to fight that with those guys and just the default equipment. Speaking of default equipment, yeah, we need to do this. Um, we need to... Now I never do this. Workshop. Facility in use. Right click. There we go. Yeah, in OpenXCOM you can right click on the facility. Oh, I'm in the wrong base. Yeah, this base here. Workshop. Right click on it. Motion scanner. We got motion scanner. I'm going to reduce this by a few guys. It's just making us money now, which is not bad. That's good, actually. But I think we should probably build a few flashbangs and leave them in the inventory here, just in case. Manufacture new product, flashbangs since they're awesome. Put all the rest of the guys on it. And... Uh, 20 at least. 21, okay, 21, that's good. And that'll take eight days with 20 guys. They're not exactly super fast to make, but we'll make them. And we have a million dollars. We should probably hang on. Oh, probably be hanging on to this money. I think our overall costs are more than we're going to take in. So we should hang on to that money. I'd like to get another hyperwave decoder down here. And I'd like um, more scientists to hire for the lab over here. But I think we're going to go. Unless we get more UFOs and can sell off gear, we're going to hang on to this money and make some more. All right. Speaking of streams, <laughs> I'll, I'll finish this thought before I get into the research. Speaking of streams, Sup Super had an Extra Life charity stream going this weekend. It was awesome! And he was playing a ton of old DOS games. Things like Alley Cat. Who's ever heard of Alley Cat? That's just crazy. An old CGA graphics game. Pretty goofy. But I watched um, a lot of it and... He played a bunch of XCOM Terror from the Deep, and it was a ton of fun. He actually ended up having a bunch of goons, which are guys from the uh, Something Awful forums. Hey, and if there are any goons goons watching this LP, hey, please, please shout at me in the comments. I don't really have a good feel for uh, that community. It's, it's, um, I don't know why, but it's often blocked by software and um, I'm a big fan of LPs and LP archive it's kind of why I'm doing this um, one of the reasons is I, I got into watching LPs on video due to reading LPs and and uh, following LPs and the LP archive which all came out of the something awful forums 
and um, Sub Super was running a tear from the deep. He actually had Guava Moment show up in the chat and hang out in the stream for quite a while. And so, yeah, uh, the guys who do something awful are nicknamed Goons. So, yeah, if any of you guys are there, go ahead and shout at me because I'd love to hear it. And I know, I think Sup actually posted my tutorial series on, when OpenXCOM bumped uh, in July. And he posted that in Something Awful because I was getting hits from Something Awful for him. Nonetheless, Sup's stream was awesome. And uh, there's some classic moments. Uh, I will have a link for Sup's Twitch stream, which is uh, twitch.tv slash SupSuper. And uh, you can find uh, some recordings. He's clipped out some of the highlights of that mission. And let me tell you, if there are some classic Ivan Dogovich moments, there are some classic SupSuper moments <laughs> in those streams. So I would highly, highly recommend that. All right. Okay, so that is one of the things I mentioned. I want to mention, and let's get into our research because this is awesome. We researched the sectoid leader, and now we can research the Psylab because the sectoid leaders know the secrets of that stuff. Awesome. Okay, so you, sir, let me get. And we, if if we had researched alien origins. We would have been able to research the next tech up, um, Scilab. This is important. I've got a lot of important things to research. Did I start that project? I did. And throw everybody in there. The sooner we get the Scilabs going, the sooner we'll know our Psy strength, the sooner we'll be able to maybe train a few Psy warriors. We really need it more for screening than anything else. Um, I am not going to rely heavy on Psy on this game. It may become pretty important later on once we're starting to face mutons and stuff. I'm not sure. Let me get a sip of coffee. Hang on. All right. Cold black coffee. Yeah, I drink it to keep awake. I, I do record these early, like between 4 and 5 a.m. All right. So we researched that. Awesome. Okay. Let's keep going here. Um, we should be making some money. We are. We're making a little bit of money, and we're seeing money go down, too, as we build flashbangs. That's funny. Uh, looks like we're kind of staying even. All right, so we're getting stuff to refill our guys. Yeah, that's what we got. Do we have a... Do we have a... No, no. Uh, equip craft. We have a launcher. We don't have an intercept. We have two in... You know what? I think I'm going to leave... Briar just has... He has avalanches and stingrays. I think I'm going to leave him set up like this. I think I can still take down the small ones with the stingrays, but I'll leave the avalanche on board. Would be nice to get another interceptor, but I'm kind of concerned about money, so we'll keep going. All right. Speed it up. Small. Yay. No, still in North America. Wow. All right. Well, that's going to keep things interesting. Where are you going? You're going that way. I am tempted, quite tempted, to just load the Sky Ranger and try tracking it. Maybe we'll shadow it with both. Okay, I'm gonna equip the craft, uh, dump on any extra flash bangs that we've made that we don't have yet on there. 41 on the craft? <laughs> well, that's probably enough. That may be enough, I don't know. Flash bangs are good. Hard to have enough. Uh, hard to have too much. All right, that looks like we're good. We got 11 soldiers. We have space for one person. We need to bring somebody. Who else can we bring here? So Kia Bird been out. Tom got wounded. Hmm. Ammo can. J Stank Milkster. Wow. Random commander. Such a hero. Such a hero. Okay. Uh. You had a good mission last time, Never Hoodie, and so I'm going to bump somebody else in. Um, I'm going to pull in Random Commander, just because they were so amazing. All right, and you, because you were awesome. Oh, well, actually, let's make sure you get your armor, right? Yeah. Okay, so armor, we'll get, uh, you can get Never Hoodie's armor. Yeah, I know, I know, you want your armor back, forget it. You'll get it back when, whenever you have to go out on a mission. All right, 
Okay, so uh, let's get Mar Bazir chasing target UFO 32. And let's get Briar out shadowing. Okay, speed it up to a minute. Going slow. He may be gonna land. I'm okay with that. You, it's a uh, medium too, so there's not a lot of guys in there. But we can always use the extra stuff. All right, stay stood off. All right, go back up to one minutes. Kind of going a little fast, not super fast. Aha, he landed. Awesome. Daylight landing mission, medium scout. Now, 17 minutes into our episode, we will begin this tactical mission, maybe finish it. Let's check it out. Okay, uh, I will do the equipment really quick and get back with you. Okay, everybody's loaded pretty good. I did load up Ellis again, and one of the things I saw in the last episode was that his strength didn't really improve. So we got to weight him up, made him, make him run around, and make him kill things, and then his strength should improve. All right, um, so that is cool, nice wooded terrain. We haven't gotten to fight much in wooded terrain, so that's kind of nice. All right, a scat Lloyd. Uh, we got another one here. You come this way. Okay, so this is gonna be an interesting mission, looking around. Um, so we have the smaller crafts, so there may not be as many. Okay, we got one. All right, he's over here. Probably tossable. Probably tossable. Who's in the front here? Tuck it. You, sir, might have enough time units to throw it. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna I need to get Ellis out here and actually have him shooting at things too. Um, if we move somebody over here, he may be able to shoot. So let's get the scout, oh, the scout over here. Clearing out this way. So one of the things about this type of map is there, the aliens often will be in these little valleys. So it's good to kind of check those out for lines of fire, etc. Let me get a quick map view here. Okay, so this is a flat area. I'm guessing the enemy UFO will be somewhere over there. We might be at the edge of this map too. So we may have a ton of activity this side. And there may be someone over here too we can't see yet. Maybe. All right, so I wanna deal with that guy. Um, I would just grab a Barrett and have him throw something. I know he can. Um, I don't know if I can get Alice out there too. Uh, Let's try Tuck. Tuck, can you throw this far? You can't. So that just took care of that guy. All right. But I do want to get um, Ellis some lines of fire. Alex! <laughs> oh, dude. That was so funny. Uh, I mean, it, I, it was sad. And I, 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 again, I sincerely apologize for not bringing you on sooner. Uh, it wasn't my intent to leave you uh, out of the, out of the series for sure. Okay, Ellis, dude, let's run you, man, because I want you to get better time units, and I want you to get stronger, stronger, my friend, stronger. Uh, yeah, because your strength is still 24. It's improved from 20 where you started, but dude, you need to get stronger. All right. Yeah, Alex got you. Um, I, I missed him uh, once, and then uh, he didn't get promoted the the very next promotion that we did do. But I'm glad we finally got him on board. All right, Tetsu, it's a pretty good group out here. I like it. We're gonna give the aliens a turn once we move everybody up in the Sky Ranger. Stand in the door. And random commander, awesome. Okay, and next turn. Oh, -ho. I see yous. Okay, Ellis, I know you're weak. Mm, okay, Scout. Scout, come Scout for me. Yep, that's what I figured. So 
Alice, do you have a line of fire over here? You probably will from here. Okay, take a shot. Take a shot, make it count, sir. You made it count. Not enough time for a aim shot. Can you kill it? Oh, snap shot for the win. All right, dude, I think you're just gonna make some improvement there. That's awesome. Okay, scouty, scouty. Yeah, I think we are right. We got a small map, small uh, forested mountain map. Good, I like it. Okay, this guy, come over here. I think we cleared that corner. Now look this way. All right, we're not seeing the UFO there yet. Not really. Okay, back up a little. All right, this mission should be pretty straightforward from here on out. I say that, we'll probably need to take two casualties or something. Alright, Tuck got a kill, that's good. Tetsu, uh, what do I want to do for my approach? Um, I think I want to bring some guys this way. So Tetsu, let's get you running, that'll help improve your stamina. I know you're almost out of energy already. Omni Null, you're going to be my artillery. From over here, you can throw long distance grenades. Alex, let's get you in here. You can back that stuff up. Barrett, you can also be my uh, security here. Insurance. All right, third curry. How you doing, man? I haven't, I haven't seen you much recently. Glad to have you on, in the episode, though. Okay, Wolfie. Oh, I'm well, glad Wolfie's been catching up watching some of the older episodes. As I'm recording this now, she finished watching 13 last night. So, uh, she's she was happy for her smiley face. And it makes me smile, too. I'm just gl always glad to have a Wolfie in our, in our midst. Because Wolfie's awesome! Okay, X-Ranger, you you're up to... Uh, X-Racer, you're up to a heavy now. Right on. That's cool. Yes, sir. I do. I do appreciate me some. All right, random commander. I love your time units, man. Run out over here. You can come over here and help be part of this effort. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Good enough. Give him a turn. A door opening. It may be the only door in the craft that opened. All right, scout. You found him. Got another guy. Ellis, how, how, uh, let's see, you've got a flash bang, but you're weak. I don't know how far you can throw. Can you throw to here? Out of range. How about there? Out of range. You could probably throw. Okay, if you can see him, you can probably throw to him. He returned fire and the stun didn't get him. And I don't think you got enough for a snap anymore. You don't. Alright, and you took fire, so that may, that may help. Okay, let's just do the right thing here. Um, Omni no. Random commander. Run to over here. Throw to. Throw to over here. Unable to throw there. There we go. That'll took him out. That'll took him. Took him right out. Aha! An other guy over here. Okay. So this is where we're going to call in the artillery. Omni. My ever-present Omni Null. Tommy grenade over here. Or there. Nice. Yeah, so this craft is nice because they're tucked up against the corner and they're all gonna have to come out over there in fact well depending on where I can throw at the door maybe here or here um, depending on where I can throw oh, that presents an interesting idea maybe I just toss one here yeah ya yeah, Tetsu toss one toss one Yashu <laughs> There was a guy outside the door, and we stomped him. Okay. I like it. That was a nice mission. Quick and easy. 
Nice. Okay, Defender Medal, Random Commander. I don't know why you got a Defender Medal when you already had one. Well, if you got a Military Cross, I thought you got one last time. Nike Crosses. These are all erroneous. Pay no attention to these. So that's because we only got one alien killed in this mission. And all five of these soldiers got a stun. Or a kill. Ellis got a kill. Um, and so because only one alien was killed, the game says only one alien was killed. Who took an alien down? You took an alien down. Does that match the number of aliens killed? Yes. One. One. Okay, you get a Nike cross. So, those are erroneous. We have some erroneous of those. That's fine. Woo! Flashbang proficiency medal! Awesome! I was wondering when we were going to get that. Uh, this, you get a proficiency medal. It's a weapon proficiency medal, and it just puts the name of whatever, maple, whatever weapon you're using in there. Um, you get that when you kill 10, alien, 10 enemy with a certain type of weapon. And the flashbangs. And I, I presume we're going to get a lot more of these. Oh, that's awesome. So the Nike crosses, those are erroneous. Shoes knows about it now. We've been discussing it. So he'll get back to that. I'm pretty sure and fix that up. He's been doing some work on it. It's been a little while, but that's awesome. Okay. And nice work. More coffee. All right. Now let's do a quick one here. Let's go ahead and look, uh, do the selling of our gear. I think we'll hold off on taking a look at soldiers till next time. We'll close out with a uh, nice four heavy plasmas. Awesome! Uh, plasma pistols, we still have a bunch. That's good. Oh, right, and we got sectoid soldiers to sell. I don't want any of you. Let's sell a couple navigators. Uh, that's cool. Give us more space for live aliens. Um, the good news is we got another power source, some more navigations. Awesome. Don't need all that. And actually, we can transfer some of that over to our other base. Excellent. All right. Interceptor or scientists? What do I need more? Probably, probably scientists. Let's hire some scientists. We made about a million. Let's... I don't want to sell sack. I keep doing this. Purchase recruit. Scientists. Ten of those guys. Fifteen. We'll get fifteen. That's close to a million. Okay. All right. That sounds good. All right. Um, coming on 30 minutes, so let's close this episode out. Looking at one of our UFOpedia entries. Let's just go with the latest medal that we got. Uh, no, let's go. Okay, so omni has been earning a lot, and so this is one we earned a little while ago. It's the Order of Restraint. Order of Restraint. There will be a substantial reward for the one who finds the Millennium Falcon. You are free to use any method necessary, but I want them alive. No disintegrations, Darth Vader. Presented in recognition of a soldier who has mastered the art of taking the extraterrestrials alive. Live specimens can be incredibly important in our understanding of the menace that we face. The award is issued at 4, 8, 12, and 16 captives. So I, this is a, a cool medal. Um, the ribbon is, is really nice. Uh, I do like the some of the stuff in the elements of uh, in the design. Uh, this is a uh, stun rod that Shroom Arts, who has let me use the graphics for my thumbnails and that I've got in my intros and outros, uh, I asked him if he wanted to try to uh, pull up with the metal, and he made this really cool looking stun rod. And the rest of the metal design, and I collaborated with some of the guys in the forums and got so many different answers that I kind of ended up doing a, a slightly different design above it. So I've got a soldier there with the stun icon kind of embossed on this uh, pentagon shaped metal and shoes's uh not shoes shroom arts uh stun rod uh custom stun rod he drew up for me and i really do appreciate the effort that he put into that and i was glad i was able to incorporate it in the final design so the order of restraint i presume we're going to get quite a few more of those as stun rods become our main method of dealing with the alien menace 
yeah, it's been good. I want to thank you for joining me for episode 34 of Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. I want to give a special thanks out to X Racer. <laughs> X Racer has just started his own Let's Play with a certain special challenge called Explosives Only. <laughs> it's crazy. It's it's awesome. And Ivan Dogovich will join up there and die a painful death, blowing being blown to smithereens, I'm sure. But X Racer has also included the uh, commendations UFOpedia mod into his game too. My mod, um, the first person that I know that actually is playing with it. So uh, thank you, X Racer, and great to have you in my series. And special thanks out to you. If you would like to join the force, three slots left. That's all I've got. You got to get. Sign up while the signing is hot. You have been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich. We will see you again with episode 35 of Up Close and Personal. Cheers!